What does it mean to be human? I'll let you answer that. Every individual belonging to the genus Homo is considered a human which is Latin for the word man. How the first humans evolved is still not quite known or figured out yet, although some old species have been identified and described in my previous videos so remember to check them out and hit like and subscribe. Now, the first humans emerged in Africa around 2 million years ago before we appeared in the same continent. They were the Homo habilis, the able man or the handyman. Also, the first species of the genus Homo and the one that is the least similar to the Homo sapiens. They lived between 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago and also went extinct in the same. How were they discovered and named? In 1960, a research team at Olduvaigorge in Tanzania found fossil remains of a species that seemed to fall in the gap between the Australopithes and humans. The remains consisted of several teeth and a lower jaw associated with fragments of a cranium and some hand bones. Studying the fossils gave them a whole bunch of evidence to allow them to put the new species in a different genus. In addition, they also discovered that H. habilis behaved in a human-like way too and also described the increased cranial capacity and comparatively smaller molar and premolar teeth found in the fossils. The bones of the hand and feet suggested an ability to manipulate objects with precision just like humans and in 1964, they finally named it Homo habilis, identifying it as the first true human species to evolve. They possessed some ape-like features such as long arms and a moderately prognathic face. Their cranial capacity was slightly less than half of the size of the modern humans. The average male stood 1.3 meters tall weighing 37 kgs while the average female was 1 meter weighing 32 kgs. This species mainly inhabited eastern and southern Africa at the same time as Paranthropus boisei and there is evidence of repeated use sites which means that individuals returned to particular areas to meet although they are not thought to have settled in any one area but rather moved about the close-by areas looking and hunting for food. Another reason that kept them on the move was because the species evolved in Africa at a time when traditional forest foods like fruits were becoming scarce forcing animals to seek out new nutritional sources. Records show that tools were also found along with the fossils. To understand how the tools were made or discovered, let us look into a hypothetical story. Now, as they lived on carcasses, there wasn't so much meat left for them to consume while competing with the other carnivorous animals. Licking off the bones, someone or an individual of this species might have somehow broken off a bone discovering the bone marrow. Bone marrow is highly nutritious and as they consumed it, they obviously wanted more. So they had to find a way to break the bones to reach the marrow. Trying the various ways might have led them to pick up a stone, hitting the bone with it and finally succeeding to breaking it. This was probably a big breakthrough not only for them but for all that came after them including us. When they found out and realized how useful these stones were, they started carving them in ways to make them more and more convenient and handy and that was how the first stone tools were made, leading to the conclusion that the first stone tools may have been introduced by this species. They banged the stones against each other or against a surface in order to create sharp edges creating the first tools and these tools were called the Olduwan tools. For a while, that became a known fact but as more discoveries were made, this became a debatable fact because there is some evidence that show that tools were also available since the time of the Australopithes. These first humans walked this earth for a very long time until they went extinct. But while most believed that Homo habilis went extinct, some say that one population of H. habilis might have evolved into the earliest indisputable human species called the Homo erectus. So what do you think? 
Let us know the answer in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys. Do remember to check out our other videos on human species and also remember to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel.